Hi, hello, how are you all? Welcome back to my class. In this class, we are going to start your second lesson of maths that is addition, that is from your part 1 textbook. So, open page number 16. Here it is there, page number 16, unit number 2, addition. So, children, in the previous year, I mean in the 4th standard, you have learned about the addition of 4 digit numbers. Isn't it? With caring, without caring. And even uh, you have solved verbal problems based on the addition of 4 digit numbers. So, in this lesson, you are going to study about the 5 digit numbers with caring, without caring. Then, uh, verbal problems based on addition of 5 digits number. Okay, because you are in the 5th standard, so you have to learn the 5 digit numbers now. Okay, so let's start with the revision exercise. Okay, so we are going to start from the first main, add the following numbers. So, yes, here you can see the first one is that you can easily read it, right? So, 4,368 plus 2,521. So, let's solve it. So, children, before going to solve it, can you tell me what is this? What it is called? This chart? Yes, this is called the place value chart. Do you remember? Yes. So, here you can see this is unit 10, 100,000. So, this much you have learned in the previous class. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Only 4 digit numbers you have learned. Right. You need 10, 100,000. But today in this class, I mean in this year, in the 5th standard, you are going to study about the 5 digit number that is 10,000. Okay. So, first let's do some revision. Okay. With the 4 digit number. So, we'll solve this first one here. So, here you can see already have written that number. 4,368 plus 2,521, isn't it? So, now, here if you see, what is this? This is place value chart. So, first what we can do, we have to arrange this numbers into this place value chart. Okay, so let's start. Yes, so, you know, you have to start from the right side. This unit 10, 100,000, isn't it? So, here, say so 8 should be in the unit place. So, I'll write here 8. Next, 6, it is in the 10th place, so I will write 6. 3, it is in the 100th place, so I will write 3 in the 100th place. And the 4th one, it is in 1000th place, so I will write it in the 1000th place. The same, then I will put the addition mark because we are going to do the addition, right? Addition means to add. So now, the second number, 1, it is unit, 2, 10, 5, 100, 2, it is 1000 right so now let's add it so always you have to start adding the number from the right side not from the left side okay you have to always start number adding from the unit place that is from right side so yes so let's try uh, add it 8 plus 1 how much 8 plus 1 is 9 very good so i'm going to write here 9 okay next one after finishing with the unit, now you have to go to the next highest place. What is the next highest place after unit? 10 is the next highest place, right? So, let's solve this numbers. 6 plus 2 is how much? It is 8, right? So, I'll write 8 here. Next, after 10, which is the highest place? 100 is the highest place, right? So, 3 plus 5 is how much? 8, right? So, I'll write 8 here. Next, after 100... Once you have solved 100, you have to go to the next highest place. That is 1000. So, in the 1000, 4 plus 2. How much? 4 plus 2, 4, 5, 6. Right? So, 6. So, what is your answer? 6880. Sorry, 6889. So, here we will put the comma. Right? Yes. So, here is your answer. Now, we are going to solve one more example from your textbook. Here you can see the second example. 2,673 plus 5,134. Okay, so already I have written that number you can see. But here directly we are going to see, sorry, solve without putting the place value chart. Okay, so let's solve it. So first you know how to place the number, right? So this one I am going to place here. First number 2,673 plus 
फोर थाउजेंड सॉरी फिफ फाइव थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड थर्टी फोर सो फाइव थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फोर इफ यू सी द नंबर द नंबर शुड बी वन बिलो द अनदर सो दिस वन हियर द फोर इज इट इट इज इन अ यूनिट प्लेस एंड हियर थ्री इट इज इन यूनिट प्लेस सो द बोर्ड शुड बी इन द यूनिट प्लेस इफ यू सी द सेवन इट इज इन द टेन प्लेस एंड हियर थ्री इट इज इन द टेन प्लेस सो द सेवन शुड बी आई रिटर्न हियर एंड द थ्री शुड बी बिलो द सेवन द सेम वे हियर Six, it is a hundred place, and here one is a hundred place, right? So six should be here, and below six one should be here, and two it is a thousand place. Next, find the thousand place. It should be exactly below. Okay, this is how we have to arrange the number without place value chart. Okay, so let's add it. Now three plus four is how much? Three plus four is yes, it is seven. So I'll write seven here. Next, we have finished with this tenth place. I mean, the numbers which is in the unit place. Now you have to go to the highest place, which is the highest place after unit ten, right? So here we are going to solve the number which is in the tenth place. So seven plus three is how much? Seven plus three is ten, right? So here we are having only one place to write the number. We are not having two places here, right? So we can write only one number. So which number you are going to write? Yes, the number which is there in the unit place. I mean the right side number you have to always write. Okay. So here I am going to write this zero here. Next, the number which is there in the next place that is one. So the left number always you have to carry over to the next place. That is to the hundred place here. Okay, next play next after ten, which is the highest place, hundred. So now we are having here. You can see one. You have to add this number which we have given the carry, right? So one plus six is seven. Seven plus one is eight, right? So I'll write eight here. Next, we have finished with the number which is in the hundred place. Now we are having the last. That is thousand, right? So two plus five is how much? It is. Seven, right? Yes. Now let's put the comma. You know how to put the comma after hundred, right? After three digit, you have to put the comma. So now you can read the number. What is your answer? Seven thousand eight hundred seven is your answer, isn't it? So yes. Next, children, here we are having two examples. You can see. So here it is there. You can see this is one, two, three. So here we are having three numbers which we are going to add. Here also we are having three numbers which we are going to add. Okay, here written the same example. You can see, right? So here let's write all this number first of all in this place value chart. Okay, let's start with the first number. You can see three thousand six hundred fifty-three, isn't it? So here the three is unit place. So I'll write three here, then five, ten place, and six it is a hundred place. Then three it is in a thousand place, right? In the same way the second number also you have to write three unit place. One ten place, two hundred place, and four it is in the thousand place. In the same way, the last number six unit place, five ten place, one hundred place, another one thousand place. So now let's add all these numbers. Okay, so let's start adding the number from the unit place. Okay, so here whatever we have done, we have done with the two numbers only. Here first number, second number, right? Here we are having three numbers: one, two, three. So we have to add all these numbers. Okay, so first always you have to start adding the numbers from the unit place. So three plus three is how much? Three plus three is six, right? So three plus three is six. Six plus six is how much? Yes, it is twelve, right? So here I'll write this is twelve, right? So to the right number we'll write here, and the left number will carry over to the next place. So here to the tenth place. So now here we have to add all the numbers. So in the tenth place, okay. So instead of giving here, I'll give this one here, okay, so that it will be easy for you to uh, add. So in the tenth place, here one plus five, six, six plus one, seven, seven plus five, yes. Twelve, right? So again twelve. So two will write here, and the next one will carry over to the next place. That is to the hundred place. Here you are not having two place to write this number, right? You are having only a single place to write the number. So next will carry over to the next place, isn't it? Next way in the hundred. We are done with the unit ten. Next we are having hundred. So one plus six seven. Seven plus two nine. Nine plus one. 
10 right so this is 10 so 0 where you have to write the 0 here in the 100 place and this one will carry over to the next place that is to the 1000 place okay next so in the 1000 place 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 1 9 right so we'll write 9 here yes so this is our answer that is 9022 is our answer okay let's put the comma here so this is our answer in the same way here we are having the fourth one okay so children you can see here here I already have written that example so what we can do is you just try to solve it by yourself but first of all you have to pause the video okay later you will get the answer here so just cross check your answer with my answer okay so do it children children i hope that you have done yes so here you can see the answer isn't it but here we are having if you see there are four digit numbers here we are having three digit number so here you need 10 hundred so here you have to write only 10 hundred only you are not supposed to write in 10 uh, thousand place because you are not having any number in thousand place okay then you have to add as it is if nothing is there means it will be considered as a zero isn't it yes so hope you all have done it correctly yes so children let's move to the next main so here's page number 16 second main solve the following problems Sanmati deposited 3,672 rupees on Monday and 4,678 on Tuesday in the bank. Find the total amount deposited by her. So she has the Sanmati, she has deposited, deposited 3,672 rupees on Monday and, and 4,678 on Tuesday. Now you have to calculate the total amount deposited by Sanmati. So first of all you have to write the particulars. right? So here you can see the first one. The, what is this first one here? This number we have to write. This amount that is deposited on Monday. So amount deposited by Sanmati on Monday. How much it is? 3,672. So let's write here rupees. 3,672 right next one on Tuesday how much it is 4,678 so amount deposited by Sanmati on Tuesday that is 4,000 rupees 4,678 isn't it next total amount deposited by her you have to find out that right so what you have to do yes we have to add this both amount so that we can get the total amount right so total amount so let's write it here so 3000 here we we'll write here the same number 3672 plus 4678 so let's add it so 2 plus 8 is how much 10 so 0 will write here and 1 will carry over to the next place next 7 plus 1 is how much 8 8 plus 7 is 15 right so i'll write 5 here and 1 will carry over to the next place 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 6 is how much? 13, right? So, 3 I'll write here and 1 will carry over to the next place. Next, 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. So, what's the answer? 8,350. So, the total amount deposited by her is how much? It is rupees 8,350. D. So, this is our answer. Okay, children. Now, let's move to the next second one. So, children, the second one is there. Here you can see Tuesday. Uh, sorry, the population of a village is 3,389. The population of another village is 4,893. Find the total population of both the villages. So, of I mean, there is there are two villages and the first village population is 3389 and the second village population is 4893 you have to calculate the number of population in both the villages i mean you have to write a total population okay so first you have to write the particulars okay so what will be your first sentence the population of a village in so the population of first village is how much 3389 so population of first village is 3000 389 isn't it so the next one the population of another village is 4893 so the second sentence will be like this population of second village how much it is 4893 
okay now you have to calculate to see the total population of both the villages okay so what you have to do yes you have to add the numbers right so let's write it here first 3389 plus 4893 so let's add it 9 plus 3 is how much 9 plus 3 is yes it is 12 right so we'll write 2 here and 1 will carry over to the next place now 1 plus 8 is how much 9 9 plus 9 is how much it is 18 right so 8 i'll write here and the next number will carry over to the next place now 1 plus 3 is how much 4 4 plus 8 is how much 12 right so we'll write 2 here and 1 will carry over to the next place next 1 plus 3 is 4 4 plus 4 is 8 so let's put the comma so what is your answer 8282 so the total population of both the villages is 8282 so this is your answer okay so next one here the last one is there children you can see the number of students of first standard in all the schools of a panchayata is 1673 second standard is 1845 third standard is 1437 and fourth standard is 1547 find the total number of students so there is a i mean in a panchayat sorry in all the schools of a panchayat there are I mean, uh, there are 1,673 students are there in first standard. In the second standard, 1,845 students are there. In third standard, 1,437 is there. And in the fourth standard, 1,547 students are there. Now, you have to calculate the total number of students in all the schools of a panchayat. So, first of all, you have to write the particulars. Then, you have to solve it. Okay. So, children, here also we can do one thing. Just pause the video. Try to solve it by yourself. Later, you start the video. Then, you will get the answer. Okay. Then, you check your answer with my answer answer hope you will learn it very correctly okay so let's do it so children i hope you have done it so here is your answer you can see yes so 6502 is the answer okay very good children so children in today's class we have learned the revision exercise from lesson two that is addition okay in the next class we are going to continue with the exercise part so till then take care of yourself be with me and already we have completed the first lesson yet you have not seen those videos you will get those videos in my channel so you have to sub subscribe my channel to see all those videos and uh, how do you feel about my videos let me know in the comment section and if you think the video is really useful to you then don't forget to like, share with your friends and do subscribe my channel. So children, till then, bye-bye.